Tesla cuts their prices for the Model Y and Model 3 with up to 20% in Europe and North America. This is following the price cuts that was made last week in Asia. This means that you can get a Model Y standard range car for the same price as a Volkswagen ID3. That's a golf size C-Class car compared to a mid-size SUV. Isn't that, isn't that insane? Hello and welcome to It's Only Electric, my friends. It is a special day today. It's Friday the 13th. And everyone knows what that means. Or? That means that the Grim Reaper, aka Elon Musk, just played one of his cards in his sleeve. It's not a scythe, but it has the same effect for his competition. It's a massive price cut with up to 20%. This will, this will most likely paralyze the competition. And by the way, today it's also St. Knut's Day. Uh, it's the day when the Scandinavians take down their Christmas ornaments. I mean, these kind of things. Don't ask me anything else about St. Knut, because I have no idea who he is. So what does these price cuts really mean? Is there a lack of demand? Or is it just the right timing for Tesla to kill some competition? It's hard to tell, I'm not sure, but uh, as I see it, I, I still see a strong demand for Tesla cars and vehicles. Uh, it st still seems solid, since there are a lot of people still waiting for deliveries. Uh, so I think it's more leaning towards the second thing. They are trying to kill and get rid of some competition. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see who follows. I mean, the Germans seem to struggle with their margins of their EVs. And I have a hard time seeing that they can do the same aggressive move here and the same aggressive amount of price cuts. In, this in combination with, with massive inflation, surging energy prices, lack of components, slow manufacturing ramp-ups. I mean, it's a very bad timing and Tesla knows this. Maybe some of the Chinese brands may be able to follow. But I don't know if they will though. The time will tell. But uh, the competition stiffens. The Model Y standard range version now costs less than an OK spec Volkswagen ID3 with the 58 kilowatt of battery. It's cheaper than the RVD version of the ID4 by a margin. The Model Y long range in some countries in Europe now costs almost 10,000 euros less than a BMW iX3. And the Mercedes EQB is at the same price point as the long range Model Y. And that's a budget car in the Mercedes lineup. The Model 3 Performance is now almost 5,000 euros cheaper than the BMW i4 M50. So there you have some comparison. Tesla cars are now really competing, both when it comes to technology, range, and price. That's good. I expect more price cuts on the Model 3 after the refresh. So if you are close to order a Model 3, I think there will be an even better timing than this. I mean, the Model 3 is still a bit too ex uh, expensive compared to the Model Y. The price difference is almost none. And we know that there is coming kind of a refresh for the Model 3 this year, later this year, after summer. And that's more or less about efficiency when it comes to production and price cuts. So the aim for that refresh is probably to make the Model 3 even more competitive when it comes to price. So hold your horses. 
when it comes to the Model Y, I think this can be a good timing. It can be the timing you have been waiting for, for ordering your Model Y. I don't think there is a good idea to order anything else for the moment. I mean, cars from other brands. I should at least wait a couple of weeks because things will follow. There will be other manufacturers lowering prices and this price cuts will affect the market. What do you think about this price cuts? What are you going to do? Are you in the moment of ordering a new car? Are you waiting? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a discussion. Thank you for tuning in. Speak to you soon.